Good evening everyone, this is Bremster and tonight I'm coming to you with the next puzzle in the Sudoku U series. This is X by Chaos. Um, I don't know how this puzzle is rated. Maybe it's rated X. Whoosh. Now, um, the Sudoku U series is, of course, puzzles that have been created in Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards as Puzzles and Paradoxes class. Um, and these are created mostly by students, but they're class creations, um, which have been put together into a puzzle pack called Signet Sudoku Volume 1. I will put details below as to where you can find Signet Sudoku Volume 1 as a PDF, um, and also link to Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards' website, where you can find many of their puzzles, but also it's a place where you can, if you want a physical copy of the book, you can absolutely do that. They've created physical copies of the book for the students to have as a um, um, souvenir, <laughs> but it's a, it's basically a class production of all of the puzzles that have been, or many of the puzzles that have been created in the class. But of course, I am featuring many of these puzzles, so that's also a bonus for me, and I'm bringing them to you, which is a bonus for you. So let's have a look at X by Chaos. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. We have diagonal, both positive and negative. So digits may not repeat on any of either the positive diagonal or the negative diagonal. So that's one of the rules. So um, digits in killer. So digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage and digits may not repeat within cages. Very important for this cage. Um, sort of. Actually, the diagonal rule covered that, but anyway. And thermometers. Digits on a thermometer must strictly increase as they move away from the bulb. So this digit will be higher than this, this digit will be higher than this, this digit will be higher than this. Even though this thermometer is going down, digits will rise as they go down the thermometer. Yeah, that's the way it works. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So the maximum digits I can put into a Sudoku grid without repeating are 7, 8, and 9. If I add 7, 8, and 9 together, I get 24. So that is what those must be. The minimum digits I can put into a cage are 1, 2, and 3, which sum to 6. But this cage needs to equal to 7, so I need to increase one of those digits by 1. But the only digit I can increase by 1 without causing there to be a duplication is the 3. So that becomes 1, 2, 4. Now, this here, this is a maximum of 9, maximum of 8, maximum 7, maximum 6, maximum 5, maximum 4, maximum 3. So 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6... 5, 6, 7, 6, 7, 8, and 7, 8, 9. But this 22 cage, if I was to put a 3 into here, these would have to sum to 19. And that doesn't work. There's no way of making 19 into Sudoku digits. A 4 here, and they'd have to sum to 18, which is still not possible with Sud two Sudoku digits. So that's a 5, and these are 8, 9, because 8, 9 is 17, 17 plus 5 is 22. That means these have to increase. So this becomes 6, 7, 8. 8 and 9. Now I can't repeat 9 on the diagonal, so that is not the 9. So the 8, 9, of course, makes that the 7, and I can take the 7 out of there. This is an 8 or a 9, but that is not the end of the thermo. A 9 here would need, this has to be higher than 9, so this is the 8, this is the 9, this is a 9, and by Sudoku, there is a 9 down here. That's a really nice interaction of those. These, of course, are not resolved at all by that. Now, this, of course, is 1, 2, 3, 4, which is all that's left in the column. And I know there must be a 3 up here, because in the 1, 2, 3, 4, I can't put the 3 here. But that's kind of, oh, this 9 makes that the 8 and that the 9, which means I've got a 9 in one of those, but it's not there. Because if I put the 9 there, that would repeat the 9 on the diagonal. I know I'm going quick, but I'm just finding stuff and having fun with it. 4... Not sure. I feel this 10 cage matters because there must be a one in that 10 cage. Because if there's no one in that 10 cage, how would you make it up? The only way you could do it. So if you were not, if you weren't using a one, what digits could you use to make up the 10 cage? Well, without using a one, the minimum digits you've got are two, three, and four. And you'd have to increase one of those digits by one. So you could use two, three, five. But there's no other combination that works because you could only increase one of those digits by one. If I use two, four, I would end up with two, four, four. That doesn't work. If I 
use two five, then I would need two five. I couldn't use two five. If I use two six, then two six, I would need another two. So you end up with duplication. So because I'm using two three four, the only way I could increase that is to increase one of them to two three five. And I can't do that because no five is available. So there is a one in this cage and then two digits that sum to nine. And I can't use one eight or two or four five. So it's one two seven or one three six. So it's one two seven or one three six. But there is a one in this cage. Explaining that feels a little counterintuitive, but it is true. Hmm. Which cage is under the most pressure? Now this has a maximum of seven, maximum six, maximum five. That doesn't feel relevant. Doesn't feel relevant at all. Where's nine on this diagonal? Nine, oh, no, right. Where is nine on this diagonal? So nine has to appear on that diagonal. It can't appear here because there's a nine in the box. It can't appear here, there's a nine in the box. So it's down here. But if I put nine in a 10 cage, those two cells would have to sum to one. So there's no nine there, there's a nine there, which means there's a nine in one of those two. This nine looks down saying, that's not the nine, that's the nine. Now I need to put a seven on this diagonal. Now I can't put seven in the 10 cage either, can I? Seven, one, two would work. So maybe I can, but that nine looks up saying that's the nine. Those nines take nine out of those. That's the nine. And I've done all the nines. The nines are to done. Eight is in one of those. Oh, eight. Eight in this box. That eight looks down. That eight looks down. That eight looks across. So this is now the eight. So this has a maximum of seven. But that's not doing much either. This is a quadruple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, six, seven, eight. Well, there's no seven or eight there. This is a three or a six. That doesn't feel right. Is it that 19 cage? Oh, I can't put seven there because seven is already on the diagonal. So seven is in one of those two. So now seven is in one of those two. So seven can't be on the diagonal in this box because this seven saw both of those cells. And because that seven saw both of those cells and seven wasn't in any of those, seven is in one of those two. So seven isn't on the diagonal here. It's not on the diagonal here. So seven is in the diagonal in one of those two cells. Can I repeat that trick anywhere? Like eight on this diagonal. It's not in one of those two. It's right. Eight on this diagonal is in one of those three. That eight sees that. So eight is in one of those two. This now has a maximum of seven. This 13 cage has to be under pressure, right? <sighs> Nothing has been forced into it that I can see, though. Like seven is in one of those three cells. Has seven been forced into that 13 cage? I don't think so. It could be here, which would put it here. Hmm. Oh, this is a 7-8 pair. There's no 8 there, because the 8 here. So this is not 3-6. This is a 7-8 pair. So... <sighs> 4... <sighs> Thank you. 
There's no nine, there's no eight, and there's no seven in this 19 cage. Oh, that could be an eight. If there's no nine, eight, or... No, there must be an eight in this 19 cage. Because if the, there's no nine in it, because I can't put nine in any of those cells. There's, oh, there's no seven in it, because I can't put seven in any of those cells. So if I don't put an eight in this, the maximum it could be is four, five, and six, which only sums to 15. So there must be an eight in this cage, and I can't put it in either of those two. That's an eight. That's really cool which puts eight in one of those two, and it's not on the diagonal. That's an eight, which means that's not the eight. That's the eight, which puts eight in one of those two. These now sum to 11. They're not nine, two. They're not eight, three. They're not seven, four. This is a five, six pair. And the five, six pair means that's the three, and that's the six. And these are 1, 2, because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's cool. Which means 1 is in one of those two, but it's still not forced on the bulb of the thermometer yet. Can I resolve this 5, 6 yet? Now... This quadruple, it's one, two, three, four. There's no four in any of those. The, oh, this isn't, there's no three in those. This is the three. So this is one, two, four. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is a five, six, seven triple. So this is one, two, four. Those are the same digit, but this is five, six, seven, but this sums to 13. So if that's a four, these have to sum to no more than nine. So that's not the four. One, two pair makes that the four. If this is a one, this sums to 12, which would be seven, five. If this is a two, this would sum to 11, which would be six, five. There's always a five in there. There's no five up there. There's always a five in there. That's the six. That's the five. The six takes six out of there. This is five, seven, which is 12. This is the one. This is the two. This is five, seven. That's nifty. Do I know what to do with it yet? Yes, I make that a six. So these, well, this is now the seven, and these are one, two, and three to complete the diagonal. These are, of course, one, two, three, and six. There's no six there. So six is in one of those two. So six is on this thermo. Of course, it's not there. But this is either, and this isn't a seven. So this is the six which means six is in one of those two. Seven is not here anymore. Seven is in one of those. So this is maximum five, maximum four. So one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five. I, why can't I type? There's no five here. So there's no four here. There is a seven in one of those two now. Because seven has to be in one of those two. And that's just column logic. And once seven is in here, seven has to be by Sudoku in there. Seven is in one of those three. Is it this tin cage now? This stuff was really cool. Got to put a five in one of these. This is a, hang on, nine, eight, seven, six. This is a maximum five, maximum four, maximum three. So this is one, two, three. And the one, two, three pair with that being a maximum four means that's four, that is five. One, two, three, four. This is a five. 
Those, hang on, have I broken? No. Those are the same digit. But those three digits, yeah, those three digits are different. That and that are the same digit. That's weird. That and that are the same digit. Oh, this five makes that the seven, which makes that the five, which makes that the seven. And this is, oh, there's no four there. Four is in one of those two, so it's not there. And this is one, two, three. These are one, two, three. Wait. Yeah, those are one, two, three. But I can't put a one there. That means I can't put a one there. One is in one of those two, which means that's the two, that's the one. There's no two down here, which means this is the two. There's no two here. This is now a one, three pair, which sums to four. So that's a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is so, this is cool. I'm having a ball with this. This is a one, two, three triple. So that's a four. This is a quadruple. They're one, three, six, and seven. So maximum seven. This can't be a maximum of six. I can't put a six in it. So this is a maximum three. So two, three, one, two. And this is three, six, or seven. That was more restricted than I thought, but it hasn't done. But these... This row is one, two, three, six, and I can't put one, two, or three there. This is the six. So this is not the six. This is the six. This is one, two, three, and it's not one. This is absolutely bonkers. Oh, there's no one here because of that one. So these are two, three, and four. There's no two or three here. That's the four. There's no four here. This is a two, three pair. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are five, seven, and eight. And there's no seven or eight there. That's the five. This is a seven, eight. The two, three pair here makes this the one, which means that's not the one. This is the one, which means that's not a one. One is now looking up here, which means that's not a one. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, seven, and eight. And there's no five or eight there. That's the seven, that's the eight, that's the five. The eight looks down making that the seven and that the eight. The two means that's the three which means that's the six, that's not the six. One, two, three, four, five, four and seven go in, and I know the order because there's already a four in row two. Takes the seven out of there, puts the seven into there. Four takes four out of there. This is one, two, or three. This is a one, two, three, four quadruple, but the one, two, three have to be there. This is the four. One, this is a two, so this is a three. This is a two, a three, a two. That takes two out of there. So two is in one of those two, which means this is the three. This is nuts. This is now one by Sudoku, which means this is the three, taking three out of there, which I actually had by that three. So this is a one, two pair. One, two, three, four, five. The one, two pair makes that the four, which takes four out of there. The three looks down, making that the one, which makes that the two, which makes that the three, which makes that the one, which makes that the three, which looks back, making that the two and that the one, which looks up, making that the two and that the one. And that is the correct solution. That is a beautiful lunch break puzzle. The interactions on that were absolutely stunning. This I keep saying, puzzles don't have to be diabolically hard to be really good fun. And this, I think, is an excellent example of that. Beautifully set chaos. Um, yeah, keep keep setting, please. Keep keep doing stuff like this. Please, please submit puzzles to my channel. Um, yeah, really, really good. Um, yeah, X-rated as in 10 out of 10. 
really cool puzzle. Thank you. Um, I will be back tomorrow with another Sudoku U puzzle. Um, until then, good luck with your solving. Even then, you can have some good luck with your solving.